morning guys wanted to jump on real quick it's been a minute and uh tell you about a an experience that i had uh when i was coming out here so i was driving home and i was pulling this trailer which is our horse trailer and everything was going good i was about two hours from home and uh, three hours from home probably and it was about Oh, two o'clock in the morning, and I stopped just for a break. Um, I was tired, wanted to take a break. I didn't need fuel or anything. And every time I stop, whenever I'm driving long distances, I get out and check everything, check tires, and just make sure everything was looking good. And I come around the passenger side over here, and the rear tire right there was hissing. Well, obviously, I didn't want to have to change the tire in the morning like that. And the tire's in fairly decent shape still. And uh, I could actually see the nail. It was a roofing nail. And so I thought, huh, what am I going to do? Now I'm going to have to change out this tire. So I went inside. I walked around. Used the restroom. Contemplated it for a minute. And then I thought, I wonder if they have a plug kit here. So what I did was... So I went and bought this plug kit from the gas station, tubeless tire repair kit. So there's some plugs, there's some cement right here. Just some rubber cement that goes with, with the system. There's the uh, file basically. So I pulled out the nail and I didn't film any of this. So I pulled out the nail and then you shove this in until it moves in there good, it roughens it up. Then you take a plug, you put it through that little eyelet, cover it with a large amount of cement, and then shove that in the hole. And then you can kind of see, you can kind of see it. It's open right there on the end. And so the plug stays in the tire. So essentially, the plug stays in the tire, plugs up your hole. The cement just kind of holds it all together. And then uh, all I had to do was put air in it, and it made it. Now, I will say that I did this not pulling the trailer with animals. So I might have done it differently if I had animals in there, uh, but I just had stuff. So I figured stuff was fine, even if I did have a blowout. Wasn't gonna hurt any of that stuff, whereas a block could potentially hurt the animals. And it prevented me from having to jack the trailer up, change out a tire on the side of the road. Um, so that's a, that's a good thing. I just wanted to pass that along. Uh, something that maybe in the future, carry a plug kit in your car or your vehicle and, and it might be a good option rather than changing out a tire. I also wanted to show you something that we've done so i don't know how it is where you're at but where we're at the flies have been horrendous this year so i got these feeders or fly traps so i put this one up just last night and there's already quite a few flies in there you can see the dead ones and then there's some that are alive i did put this one away so the pigs are over there the goats are over there the cows are out there in the field i put it a little bit away from the animals in hopes that maybe it would attract some flies away from them um it seems to be working somewhat moderately uh, i also put one over here next to the pigs And it is about the same. So these ones, I just put them up last night. Now, I'm gonna show you the ones that I've put up. I've had up for a couple days. It is, it's pretty gross. Flies are disgusting for sure. I ordered those other ones on Amazon. But in the meantime, I wanted to do something. And 
So we went to the store and bought just some disposable ones a couple days ago. Look at this thing. It is almost full of flies and they're really enjoying it. Put another one right here. And again, it's pretty nasty. And there's a ton of flies in there. So those ones I'll just throw away whenever they get full. I'll probably try to put some tape on it to hold the lid down. Put them in their own bag and then throw them away. The other ones, the little buckets, those ones are reusable. And I bought some extra reusable or uh, uh, smelly good to fly packets. Reeks uh, off of Amazon as well. I put this one up just a couple days ago. Um, right at the opening to the barn. Take a look at this. Bam! Look at that thing. That is all flies right there. Just a ton of flies. So gross. And you think for every one of them flies that's in there, and you can see them there all around the, around the top as well, but for every fly that's in there that dies, is no larva. And you can actually see there's some larva in there. So they've been laying eggs inside of that thing. But the eggs die as well, or the larva, I guess, dies as well. And you can see there's like a big horse fly there, some regular old flies, there's a couple house flies. It attracts all different kinds of flies. And, and uh, I don't know where you're at in the part of the country, and what part of the country you're in, but flies here have been terrible. Uh, another thing that we did, and I just put this up last night as well, is right over there, you can see that green bag with the yellow on top of it. That is a Japanese beetle fly trap. We've been getting bombarded with Japanese beetles. So decided we were gonna try to do what we could to get rid of as many of those as possible as well. The struggle is real. And it seems to be working. The way that I can tell that it's working is that branch that I put it on is hanging way down lower. The other way, that you can tell it's working, I can hear them in there. And there's some weight to that bag too. See if you can hear them. And you can see there's a couple on the on there. And that's the attractant. And it actually smells like a like a flower. It's kind of weird. 